This is Steve O'Brien from Fredericksburg, Texas. When I started this report, I thought it was about uh, Sheriff uh, Jeffrey Christopher. But the farther I went and the more questions I asked, I found out it was about the ignorance of our nation as to law enforcement and the Constitution. Sheriff Jeffrey Christopher has found himself in an incredible place. As a sheriff, he believes in the constitutional powers in the sheriff, and he ran for office to try to bring back some of those powers. Unfortunately, they're being stripped away from him, and his lawsuit continues. So I went to the streets of Fredericksburg to ask the normal people what was going on, and what was the role of the county sheriff. Have a listen. See what they said. Okay. Hey, what's your name? My name's Glenn Sellers. Hey, Glenn, um, what's the role of the county sheriff? Uh, I would assume it's to go ahead and keep law and peace. Uh, what's your name? Uh, I'm Jonathan. What's the role of the county sheriff? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, what's your name? Karen Taberge. Hey, Karen, what's the role of the county sheriff? I actually don't know. I've never really been that interested in that kind of stuff. What's your name? Dub. Deb? Dub. Dub. Oh, that's beautiful. Hey, what's the role of the county sheriff? role of the county sheriff is he's the head law enforcement officer of the uh, county. So what's your name? Frankie Nito. So uh, what's the role of the county sheriff? The county sheriff, I believe, is, uh, I really don't know, honestly, to tell you the truth. I thought the county sheriff was to ensure that uh, outside forces such as the federal government couldn't come in here and exercise laws that are not supported by that state that the sheriff is in that the uh, sheriff's role is pretty much our first line of defense when it comes to uh, an overtake of, you know, a federal government and to ensure that everyone along underneath his, what's a, underneath his chain of command is following the guidelines of the oath they took, which was to the U.S. Constitution. Okay. So what's your name? Uh, Sheriff Jeff Christopher. Okay. Uh, Sheriff Christopher, what's the role of the county sheriff? The role of the county sheriff is, is twofold. One is to protect the liberties, uh, property rights, and the constitution, uh, constitutional rights of people within his county uh, that he's responsible for, his, his con uh, constituents, if you will. The second role, uh, in, in many counties, they act as the county police or the county authority uh, of law enforcement. Um, in this particular county, in my county, the sheriff has not been utilized in the secondary role that I just mentioned. Uh, however, the primary role is inherent with the office. Um, Many sheriff's offices can can uh, relate to the fact that they have a somewhat of a law enforcement role, and it's defined right here in section in Title Eleven, Section Two Twenty Two of the Delaware Code that we are defined as a law enforcement agency. However, we've been treated here recently and most recently as though we have nothing to do with a, a law enforcement role at all. Sussex County recently took away the sheriff's ability to arrest people. He is now a process server, mainly deals in foreclosures. Right. Um, do you think that that's right? Or Absolutely not. I mean, he's a sheriff. He ought to be able to uh, perform his duties. That doesn't sound any more than a clerk. So Sussex County just uh, passed some legislation in the state house that turns the sheriff into a paper server, and so all he does is serve foreclosure documents. Does that sound lawful, legal, right? You know, the, uh, according to the, uh, the law, each individual state has the right for the legislature to make decisions on things. Uh, they can do this. It's not necessarily right for the people. Uh, normally a constable type person or a paper server would do this, uh, whereas the sheriff should also have the ability to work the criminal cases along with the civil in certain cases. But they shouldn't take any of the criminal rights away from them to take care of things. This just simply pulls law enforcement off the streets. So we have the police, we have the rangers, and we have the sheriff. Correct. Um, do we have enough, or do we need more law enforcement? Agents? I think we have enough. Uh, they do a very good job. So you wouldn't add or anything or take it away? No, not in the employee part of it. Any kind of laws passed would be fine. But uh, no, they, they do a very good job. Okay, so what should we add and what should we take away? We should, we should add, <laughs> add, add a skate park. Yeah, we should add a skate park and get rid of a lot of the cops. <laughs>
Okay, what, um, what should we add and what should we take away from our law enforcement agencies in that context? Is there any changes you'd see? Well, I'd like to see them all maybe take a couple of courses in um, human communication and humanity so that they understand what species they're working with and trying to protect. So when we're speaking about law enforcement agencies, um, I guess this is pretty easy for me to think of what you're going to say. Uh, what, would, what should we add and what should we take away as far as law enforcement agencies? Well, I think, I think it starts at the, at the police academy. We have to instill in the applicant and the, and, the, and the cadet's head or whatever you want to call it in whatever state that they use it uh, and, and the probationer's head that, you know, we're out here to, to serve the public, to serve the people. We have to go back into the, the public servant category, if you will, and not act as though uh, we are the, the all to end all and reestablish a relationship and a trust with the people. I think that's where we're losing. I think that attempt was made with the uh, in the Clinton administration when, it, when they tried to do something called community policing. We were simply uh, trying to uh, go back into the developments in the areas where uh, crime was, was rearing its ugly head and start to speak to the people so that we can establish a relationship there. Um, and, and that was a no-brainer. That's what the police are supposed to be for, no matter which division they're in. They are responsible for a job, and anyone who gets uh, assigned to a division primarily should understand that their first and foremost responsibility is to serve the public, to answer the questions honestly, and upright and without violating the constitutional rights of those individuals. What about the Constitution? Do you think the sheriff's covered in the Constitution? I think so. Is the role of the sheriff constitutional? It should be. Is the role of the sheriff constitutional? Yes. Is the role of the sheriff constitutional? Absolutely. Uh, in Delaware, uh, we are enumerated uh, and given the powers. I asked my General Assembly recently, uh, you're making this bill, creating House Bill uh, 325 uh, superseded 290, which which was basically withdrawn by those who introduced it first. Uh, it was reopened by a legislator here in Delaware by the name of Schwarzkopf, and he brings it to the floor and says the sheriff doesn't have any powers of arrest and is not a law enforcement officer. My question to him was, well, then why are you taking the word uh, that's mentioned in the state law, uh, every page of it, and you're just simply crossing the word sheriff out, citing that it's no longer used and necessary when it's mentioned, enumerated, specifically in our Constitution. Do we follow the Constitution in the United States? Uh, not anymore. We don't. Definitely not. I think people find too many loopholes and they abuse it. Do we follow the Constitution? Mm, uh, the sheriffs follow the Constitution as performed by the Senate and the law, uh, but uh, I don't believe we as a country follow the Constitution. Do we follow the Constitution in America? We do not, and if we did, we would not have the problems that we have. And here's, let me, let me address one thing about that. There's a lot of people out here who are living their lives who don't want to be bothered with this kind of thing, and I understand that. We just want to live our lives in peace, and that's the seeking of the peace that uh, we all would like to have. But let's remember this. The Constitution is a set of words that guarantee that peace only if it's followed. If it's not followed and it's abrogated by, or negated or, or emaciated by some individual who wants to change laws or ignore current laws and say, we can do this or we can do that because we are the General Assembly or we are the County Council, and they start to think themselves too powerful for these things, that, that specifically target constitutional rights and ignore those constitutional rights, it's not going to be long afterwards that the peace that people enjoy and that just want to be left alone are going to be affected. And everyone knows that most people don't like to get involved in politics unless they're personally affected. And I guarantee you, if this continues to go, it's going to, go, it's going to spread like wildfire and cancer, and everyone in this country is going to be subject to it. If we don't stop it, and stop it now. Do we follow the Constitution in America? We follow the Constitution for the most part. Uh, it's like anything. You'll get in certain areas who will set up their own particular uh, descriptions of the laws the way they want it. For the most part, they follow it. How do you get your information? 
I'm a retired peace officer. Sweet. That's why you have such a great smile. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. You're very welcome, sir. The saddest thing that I heard was that we don't follow the Constitution, the guidelines that offer us the protections that we are looking for. We seek those in increased law enforcement and many other ways. You know, I'm not sure that that's the way we're going to get it. Perhaps the last question I asked was the most important one. Down at headquarters, there's a big database with black and white photos of the side of your beautiful face and your library record and all your tests. Excuse me a minute, big brother's at the door.